नमस्ते जय हिंद आई राजेश राजपरा वेलकम यू ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल यू एजुकेटर स्टैंडर्ड नाइन सब्जेक्ट सोशल साइंस लेसन नंबर नाइन फंडामेंटल राइट्स फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज एंड डिरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल ऑफ अ स्टेट पॉलिसी सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वीडियो नंबर टू वी हैव डिस्कस्ड फंडामेंटल राइट्स राइट टू फ्रीडम एंड राइट अगेन एक्सप्लोरेशन दैट वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड In this video, video number three, we are going to discuss right to freedom of religion, cultural and educational right, and right to constitutional remedy. And if you have not watched the previous video, I have provided link in the uh, description box. You can otherwise you can also see from the playlist of the channels. Okay, let's start discussion of uh, fundamental rights, right to freedom of religion. Okay, look at that. First number, right to freedom of religion. Okay, number four, right to freedom of religion. So, as previous video we discuss right to freedom. So, under the right to freedom, Indian citizen get six types of a freedom. Okay, that we already discussed. Now here, right to freedom of a religion. So, as per the rights, right to freedom of religions, any citizen of India. can follow any religions of the choice so we have a freedom to follow our religions india ka jo bhi citizen hai wo apne hisab se koi bhi religions koi bhi dharm ko follow kar sakta hai usko promote kar sakta hai uske baad prachar kar sakta hai aur uske celebrations a fair festival ho bhi celebrate kar sakta hai so this and these are the mentions in the uh, provisions of a constitution of india so any citizens of india can follow any religions as per their choice so india is a secular country eh? so any citizen citizen have a freedom to choose their religion and with that they can promote and they can propagate the ideas their philosophies their thoughts of the religions can be promoted can be spread in the societies so this uh, provision has been mentioned in the constitution of india so but this right is be enjoyed within a uh, permissible limit so all the rights all the fundamental rights can be used within a permissible limits so that how to exercise the rights it has been mentioned in the constitutions so use such kind and uh, use your fundamental rights which are not a violate uh, others fundamental rights or it uh, or it cannot affects at the other side so it this fundamental right right to freedoms can be used uh, which does not affect the freedom of public administration morality health of the society ke dusre logo ko nuksan na pahunche dusre religions ko nuksan na pahunche us tarah se aap e apna ye jo fundamental right se right to freedom wo use kar sakte okay and certain limitation ha huh? permissions given in the constitutions how to exercise these rights now the religious gathering so uh, uh, religious ke religious purpose ke liye dharma ke purpose ke liye har ek log uh, ikkatthe hote so that religious gathering offering or, or a prayers so all the religious people they worship their gods and goddesses okay they offers their prayers the, uh, that gods so religious gathering and offerings or a prayers are included in this means it is a part of a right to freedom of religion you have a freedom to choose your religious and you have a freedom to gather for the religious purpose for the prayers to worship the gods it is included in the right to freedom of religion now next one the state of india does not have any religions of its own or the indian state is not run as per the principle of any so india is a secular country all religions are equal all religions are equal in the countries so state of india indian government does not have any one religion any one particular religion all religions are equal in the countries and that government central government or any state government uh, cannot run on the one principles of uh, religions so uh, one principles of any uh, religions or any sector cannot run as per the principle as per the ideas as per the philosophies of any one religions or any one sect and uh, that state um, uh, does not uh, give that i uh, mean uh, kinds of uh, uh, restriction to follow one religion so all the uh, 
राइट एज पर द राइट टू फ्रीडम्स सभी लोग अपने हिसाब से रिलीजन्स को फॉलो कर सकते हैं और स्टेट से जो गवर्नमेंट है कोई एक प्रिंसिपल पे कोई एक थॉट्स पर कोई एक फिलोसफीज ऑफ रिलीजन्स के हिसाब से नहीं चलती है ओके सो द स्टेट कैन नॉट इंटरफियर रिलीजियस मैटर्स ऑफ रिलीजियस बिलीफ जो होती है रिलीजियस मैटर पे स्टेट्स गवर्नमेंट कैन नॉट इंटरफियर्स सो रिलीजियस ग्रुप्स देर ऑल द रिलीजियस दे हैव द डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स and those groups have a freedom to establish the religious organizations that they they have a freedom to do a religious work to spread the religions apne religious ke bare mein religious ka ideas uski philosophy se uske thoughts se wo apne organization bana sakte aur with through the religious organization they can uh, do the religious activities uh, regarding that and uh, that groups can be managed that can be administers for the religious purpose for the philanthropic aims so philanthropic aims means for the humanitarian for the humanitarian so state cannot use the funds so government collect the taxes through the various way so we uh, that citizens of india pay the taxes direct tax or indirect uh, taxes we are paying to the government and those money which is uh, collected through the tax uh, taxes for the public tax for or if they collect the money from the public fund so they cannot use those money for the benefits and the develop development of any specific religions or sects so it, it cannot promote a specific religions or specific uh, sect from the money which are collected from the public taxes or public fund so public fund or taxes se jo money government jo collect karti hai और उसका जो ये जो पैसे है वो कोई स्पेसिफिक रिलीजन्स और स्पेसिफिक सेक्ट के लिए वो यूज नहीं कर सकती है वो उसके लिए मीन्स वो रिलीजन्स बेनिफिट के लिए और रिलीजन्स के डेवलपमेंट के लिए वो स्पेंड नहीं कर सकती है सो दिस हैज बीन मैंशन इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अंडर द टाइटल राइट टू फ्रीडम ऑफ रिलीजन सो द एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन देर आर द मेनी एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन रन बाय द गवर्नमेंट or they are running for the government grant government grant means with the money of a government government provide them money to run that and such institution which run under the government grants cannot impart religious educations so cannot impart any one particular religious educations and cannot compel the students cannot force and cannot compel the students to participate in religious education or to attain a religious means जो एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन बहुत सारे जो एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन है विच रन अंडर द गवर्नमेंट ग्रांट्स दैट रन अंडर द गवर्नमेंट गवर्नमेंट प्रोवाइड देम फाइनेंशियल हेल्प टू रन इट एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन रिलीजियस इंस्टीट्यूशन कैन नॉट कंपील द स्टूडेंट्स सो उसको जो स्टूडेंट वहाँ पर पढ़ रहे हैं उसको कंपल्सरी नहीं बोल सकते कि टू पार्टिसिपेट इन रिलीजियस एक्टिविटीज जो जो भी रिलीजियस एक्टिविटीज है उसके अंदर पार्टिसिपेट करना और रिलीजियस मीटिंग है वो अटेंड करे दिस डिपेंड ऑन ऑफ फ्रीडम दैट इज डिपेंड ऑन द स्टूडेंट्स टू पार्टिसिपेट और नॉट ओके दैट कैन नॉट फोर्स द स्टूडेंट टू डू सच काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटीज इन द स्कूल नाउ नंबर फिफ्थ कल्चरल एंड एजुकेशनल राइट एज वी हैव डिस्कस सो वेरियस रिलीजियस पीपल्स लिव इन इंडिया सो वॉट इज द कल्चर सो कल्चर मीन्स दैट इंक्लूड द लैंग्वेज दर फूड्स their lifestyle their clothes so these are the part their faiths and festivals these are the part of our cultures so various religious people live in india they use the different language each and every uh, that religious people have their fair and festival they have the different clothes they have a different their lifestyle their foods so they are the parts of our religious so all the uh, citizens of india have a uh, right to choose their religions as per the choice they can follow the religious and they follow their cultures they can preserve their cultures about so people of various religious various language and cultures they live in india like uh, we have a 22 official language in india there are other dialects and others are languages also they are in india so the people of india have the right all the citizens or the people of india the person of india have a right to preserve the language वट एवर द लैंग्वेज दे यूज अपनी जो मातृभाषा है और अपनी जो भी कोई भी जो लैंग्वेज है उसको प्रिजर्व करना बचा के रखना आगे प्रमोट करना दैट इज़ वन ऑफ द राइट दैट स्क्रिप्ट जो लैंग्वेज जो लिखी जाती है कैसे भी जो लिखते हैं हिंदी गुजराती है कोई भी आसामी है उर्दू है वट एवर द लैंग्वेज देर सो दैट स्क्रिप्ट 
their cultural identity their cultural identity of that peoples cultural identity of that uh, group of a people there a community there and the ethnicities ethnicities means that the, they are the social groups of those uh, uh, religions so they can be preserves under the titles under the fundamental right right cultural and education right now about the education's right so all the citizens uh, all the children who are the 6 to 14 years their right to educations uh, they were provided so any education institution which depend on the government grants that uh, uh, any education institutions which run the which run uh, by the government grants or by the run the government there koi bhi institution se government ki financial help se chalti hai or uh, it uh, runs through the government cannot deny the admission on the so it cannot deny the admissions of a children admission of a students on the on the grounds of the religions on their backgrounds of the religions their caste creed language or any other reason so education institution jo chalti hai it cannot deny any children any students to get admissions in their institution so it cannot deny on the grounds of a religions you cannot say that you belong to this religion so you are not allowed to admit admit here there so you belong to this caste so you are not allowed to here you, you have this uh, language so you are not to allow so cannot say that uh, so it uh, without a discrimination of religion caste creed language uh, students are uh, uh, allowed to admit in the uh, education institution any education institutions which run the government grant through the government grants now if any individuals if any person if any citizens of india they appeal they said to what on the ground of religion so aapko batayenge ye jo candidate jo election ke andar khada hai ye hamare community ka hai hamara religions ka hamari caste ka hai hamare language jo use karta wo hamara ek candidate se to aapko usko hi vote dena chahiye so if individual appeal like that now on the big on the ground of religions or on the caste a language ke upar so it is consider as a one of a mal practice of a act number 1 2 3 as a part of a 3 that mal practice means it is one of a illegal it is a improper regarding that act number 123 is part number 3 there so no one uh, can appeal to what on the ground of the religions on the ground of the caste or language so any of the state can uh, can frame a law and provide the right to the citizen to form any manage their education institution so state can from the laws to provide right to its citizen and to manage education institutions so education institution can be manage uh, that private education institutions are there government ed- education institution are there so with the law, uh, act with the law that uh, institution can be framed and that uh, can be uh, also uh, managed by their persons on the cultural or linguistic minority so on the basis of a uh, cultures Uh, uh, based, based of their um, language minority, so language minority के हिसाब से अपने के लिए अलग से स्कूल बना सकते हैं, okay? Uh, like uh, some uh, some areas which uh, like in Gujarat which have the minorities of languages, like okay, Urdu है, so Urdu is one of a minority language in Gujarat, particularly in the Gujarat. So uh, Urdu का develop करने के लिए the community which belong to the urdu language they can from uh, they can have that uh, education institution wo apne ke liye alag se education institution bana sakta hai jahan par sirf urdu jo use karte hai wahi student ko admission diya jaye so uh, government promote that such kind of with the act with the provision uh, provision that right is given to the citizen to uh, preserve their right preserve their cultures and to preserve their language so a linguistic minority they must um, they may have that education institution and they can manage also that so state does not uh, shall not uh, discriminate while giving education grant while helping the financial help or education scholarships so uh, that government cannot discriminate cannot make a differentiate while providing a grant education scholarship regarding the uh, state fund to the any linguistic so government uh, linguistic based for discrimination nahi kar sake religious minority or institution for dis- discrimination nahi kar sake they cannot say that this uh, this institution is that religion it, it belong to this language uh, language group so we are not providing them a grants we are not providing them a scholarship uh, government cannot say that okay it cannot discriminate that so if the state decide to take over the confiscated the properties of minority institution if uh, government if want to take the uh, properties of minor uh, 
uh, institutions which were running by those uh, linguistic group uh, which was running by the mi minority group there so if government want to run it want to take it uh, confiscate the properties uske under mein jo lena chahti hai so government had to pay the return usko samne usko return dena padega so in this way important uh, provisions which were mentioned about the uh, cultures and educations so contact of a uh, education institution have been made in the uh, constitution regarding to provide education to the minority group to the, those are the parts of a uh, culture and educational rights one of the most important rights right to constitutional remedies so we have discussed that numbers are uh, of fundamental rights the act the laws have mentioned in the constitution so no matters how many laws how many act have a framed how many whatever the provisions we have framed made for the fundamental rights uh, so if these are not implemented whatever whatever the provisions whatever the act whatever the laws we have made but these laws if are not implement well sare rite sahi tarah se se wo implement nahi kiya jata hai then there is a, a, a no meanings of such a freedom there is a no meanings of such a fundamental rights agar wo sahi tarah se uh, istemal nahi kiya jata sahi tarah se use nahi kiya jata hai so aur lagu nahi kiya jata hai so there is a no meaning of this freedoms there is no meaning of this fundamental rights mm -hmm. so therefore the provision has been made in a constitution to guard thus fundamental rights so therefore one provisions have, uh, has been made in the uh, constitution that provision is known as the right to constitutional remedy so for the implementation of this right how we can implement this right in a rights that freedoms in a right way for that one uh, uh, provision has been made so as per the provisions a writ in the supreme court can be made writ uh, you can uh, uh, file the case means writ means uh, one of a legal documents you can call the simply case so writ can be filed in the supreme court for the violation of a fundamental right if you think that my fundamental right is violated aapko aisa lagta hai ki mera jo freedom se aapka aapka jo fundamental rights hai violates hua hai sahi tarah se follow nahi hua hai और कोई उसमें प्रॉब्लम आपको आ रहा है सो यू कैन डायरेक्टली फाइल द रिट सेंड द रिट इन द सुप्रीम कोर्ट के अंदर आप डायरेक्टली केस फाइल कर सकते हो एंड द वायलेशन ऑफ योर फंडामेंटल राइट्स सो दिस राइट हैज बीन एक्सेप्टेड एज अ राइट टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल रेमेडीज ओके सो द सुप्रीम कोर्ट प्लेस एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज ए गार्डियंस ऑफ अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट प्रोवाइड गार्ड्स इट गार्डियंस ऑफ अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रोटेक्ट अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो एज Uh, for this if the court find necessary if court find that that is a correct and uh, uh, this law this act violate the funda fundamental rights of the citizens so uh, supreme court can uh, take the necessary step and it can give uh, orders it can be uh, instruction or decrees can be given by the supreme court and a uh, decision of supreme court is a final it should be followed by all that so apex court apex court means the highest highest court which highest court that is a supreme court so vested with the power so supreme court has given the power to look after the constitution so supreme court jo constitution hai uske bare mein dekhne ka kaam constitution kar diye sorry a supreme court kar rahi hai so uh, supreme court has given a power to look after the constitution and nobody can oppose it the decision the orders of a supreme court instruction of a supreme court cannot be opposed by and the decision of a supreme court cannot be challenged in any other courts of india so if any person puts a complaint against any states for the violation of fundamental rights means if any uh, any persons who file the complaints about the violation of their fundamental rights ka mera fundamental rights violates hua uske bare mein jo koi complaint file karta hai supreme court ke andar so that supreme court can exercise the right right to constitutional remedies and they can uh, take the steps regarding that they look after the violation of a fundamental rights and give a, uh, orders regarding that they also provide the decision there so because of it dr b r ambedkar dr bhimrao ambedkar who was the chairman of drafting committees of a constitution has considered this right as a soul of a constitution remember which right is considered as a soul of the constitution that right to constitutional remedies is considered as a right of that right is a soul of the constitution 
so the parliament can hand over the power of giving such order of any court there so parliament can hand over the powers parliament has a power to look after the uh, so uh, can power of such order to any of a court so if the state legislative assembly from so uh, state legislative assembly uh, uh, at a central level we have a legislative assembly which frames the law uh, at central level we have a parliament so who look after the law who frames the laws so if laws which was framed by legislative assembly if they violate the fundamental rights if they violate the fundamental rights and if it it is not in a congregants means it is not in the balance i mean it is not in the balance set so the supreme court can stop the state uh, the supreme court gave order to remove that act to edit the act uh, edit the act jo uh, law banaya hai usko edit kar, karne ka order bhi de sakti hai aur usko remove karne ka order bhi de sakti hai supreme court has a power if they found that this law this act violates uh, fundamental rights of the citizen so supreme court has a power to pass the order to remove that act or uske andar edit sudhara karke wo dusri baar bhi laya ja sakta hai so this about the fundamental rights so the rights provides an opportunity of all the citizens to approach a court for the violation of a fundamental right so this rights means and that right provides opportunity this right to constitutional remedies provide opportunity to the citizen of india to approach the court for the violation of a fundamental rights for the violation of a fundamental rights that citizens of india can approach supreme court wo supreme court ke andar ja sakte hai apna jo right jo violates hua uske bare mein complain kar sakte hai so so fundamental rights applicable to all the citizen this fundamental rights are applicable to all the citizens hmm but Uh, applicable to all the citizen at the all the time is a fundamental rights a uh, it is applicable means uh, all the citizen indian citizen ko sabke liye ye applicable hota hai lagu hota hai uh, all the times from birth to till death koi per bhi samay par wo apna fundamental rights um, lagu rehta hai but look at but during a emergency during any emergency in the country this fundamental rights can be suspended so but it can be suspended during the time of emergency during a national emergencies or uh, any uh, kinds of other uh, uh, during emergency war time uh, any other emergency which happened there so during emergency this can be suspended means ye us samay par aapke jo fundamental rights hai wo aapke liye nahi hote us time us samay tak wo aapke aapka jo fundamental rights hai wo liya jata hai that has been mentioned in that constitution so any state cannot uh, form any laws which taken away so the state governments or any central government cannot frame the act cannot frame the law which take away the fundamental rights of their citizens so aisa koi bhi act aisa koi bhi law nahi bana sakte state government or any central government cannot frame the law je jo aapka fundamental rights hai jo aapki bhi jo basic freedom se wo hata sake wo le paaye so no one can frame such kind of act a law which take away the fundamental rights of the citizen of these citizens you can look at here this is the photograph of a supreme court which is located in a uh, delhi okay it is apex court of india and look at it is a photographs of a parliament where laws this and form there okay Okay, these are the informations about the fundamental rights. So we have uh, uh, completed the discussion of a fundamental rights. Okay, if you are not seen, uh, if you are not watched the previous video, you can find that in from the playlist of the channels. Watch it, go through those videos, like, share with your friend, and if you like it, subscribe the channels, share with your friends. Thank you, Jai Hind.